Once upon a time, in a small village nestled deep in the forest, there lived a wise mentor named Leo. He was known throughout the village as a kind and patient teacher, and many people came to him seeking guidance and advice. One day, a young boy named Lucas came to Leo's door. Lucas was an energetic and curious child who loved to explore the woods and play with his friends, but he had a burning desire to learn and grow beyond his current limitations. Hello, young one, Leo said with a warm smile. What brings you to my humble abode? I am eager to learn from you, sir, Lucas said, his eyes bright with enthusiasm. I intend to be like you when I grow up. Leo chuckled softly. Well, Lucas, the path to wisdom is a long and winding one. But if you're willing to put in the work, I would be happy to be your mentor. Lucas nodded eagerly. I'll do whatever it takes. Leo nodded, and from that day forward, he became Lucas's teacher and guide. At their first meeting, Leo shared with Lucas his philosophy on life, the process of be, do, and have. He explained that to achieve anything in life, one must first focus on who they are as a person, then act towards their goals, and finally enjoy the fruits of their labor. In all of the life, there are sequential stages of growth and development, Leo said. Just as a child learns to turn over, sit up, crawl, walk, and run, so too must we take each step in our personal and professional lives. No step can be skipped. Lucas listened intently, taking notes in a small notebook he had brought with him. Think of it this way, Leo continued. If you want to become a talented pianist, you must first learn the basics of music theory, practice scales and chords, and then play simple songs. Only then can you move on to more complex pieces. Lucas nodded. I understand, but what if I aim to be great right away? Leo chuckled. Ah, that's the impatience of youth talking. But greatness cannot be achieved overnight. It takes time, effort, and dedication. And even then, there are no guarantees. Nevertheless, if you focus on the process rather than the outcome, you will find that the journey itself is just as rewarding as the destination. Over the following months, Lucas spent many hours with Leo, learning and growing under his guidance. They would have long discussions about life, philosophy, and the importance of perseverance. They would also work on practical skills, such as how to communicate effectively, how to solve problems, and how to set and achieve goals. At times, Lucas grew frustrated with the slow pace of progress. He wanted to be great right away, to achieve success without the struggle. But Leo would gently remind him of the process of be, do, and have and encourage him to focus on the journey rather than the destination. One day, after many months of hard work, Lucas came to Leo with a beaming smile on his face. I did it, sir, he exclaimed. I achieved my goal. Leo smiled warmly. Congratulations, my boy. I am proud of you. But remember, this is just the beginning. There is always more to learn, more to achieve. Lucas nodded, knowing that his mentor was right. He realized that the process of be, do, and have been not just a philosophy, but a way of life. 
It was a constant reminder that growth and development were ongoing and that the journey was just as important as the destination. Years later, Lucas would look back on his time with Leo with gratitude and appreciation. As Lucas grew older, he continued to apply the principles he had learned from Leo in all areas of his life. He became a successful entrepreneur, a loving husband, and a devoted father to his children. And throughout it all, he remained humble and grateful for the lessons he had learned. One day, many years later, Lucas received a letter from Leo. The letter was brief, but it carried a powerful message. Dear Lucas, I hope this letter finds you well. I just wanted to remind you of the importance of the process of be, do, and have. As you continue to grow and develop, remember that there are no shortcuts to success. Each step is significant, and each one takes time. But if you stay focused and committed, you will achieve your goals and live a fulfilling life. Yours in wisdom, Leo. Lucas smiled as he read the letter, feeling a sense of gratitude for the mentor who had changed his life. He realized that even though he had achieved much in his life, he still had much to learn and much to give. And so, he decided to pay it forward. He began mentoring young people in his community, sharing the wisdom he had learned from Leo and helping them to grow and develop into their full potential. Years later, on his deathbed, Lucas reflected on his life with a sense of peace and fulfillment. He knew that he had made a difference in the lives of others, and that his legacy would live on through the people he had touched. As he closed his eyes for the last time, he whispered a quiet thank you to Leo, the mentor who had changed his life forever. The moral of the story is that success in life is not achieved through shortcuts, but rather through a sequential process of growth and development. Just as a child learns to turn over, sit up, crawl, and walk before they can run, we too must take each step in the process of be, do, and have to achieve our goals and live a fulfilling life. It is important to have mentors and guides like Leo who can provide us with the wisdom and guidance we need to succeed. And it is equally essential to pay it forward and help others along their journey as well. Ultimately, the legacy we leave behind is not in the material possessions we accumulate, but in the impact we make on the lives of others. The End Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing for more videos like this from this channel. We love you.